When you woke up this morning, what did you think the day had in store for you? Yesterday, my plan was to go to the post office, mail a package, come back home, work on the video about the Lord's Supper, spend a couple hours grading and finishing off a course on the parables that I just taught for Fuller Theological Seminary. Big, audacious plans. Sounds simple, right? I should have known that things were not going to go as planned when I left the house. Package and keys in hand, I left the garage only to find the garbage cans blown over and garbage strewn all over the street. And as I was on the way to the post office, I had to stop and get some shots of wind blowing flags along the sides of the street. When I got to the post office, they were open, but they weren't able to do business because all of their internet and business connections were shut down due to the wind. So I had to go to three different post offices before I found one that was up and running. Then when I got back home, a trellis that we should have lived in our front yard was making a break for it down the street. But then I heard the most god-awful loud noise. It sounded like a cross between someone hitting a home run in baseball and a dump truck full of firewood unloading in your front driveway. The dogs went wild, and I went to look out the back door to see what had happened. One of our mature pines snapped right in the hair. This windstorm had winds over 100 miles an hour on our wind gauge. I said, holy moly, that thing is huge. You should see the trees on people's houses down in, down in all the whole north end. The whole north end? Huge. Trees like this laying on top of these little houses. Oh. Uh. I don't think we hit his house. This is our little weather gauge that has a wind thing on top. It gave its life in the cause of duty. Look at that, we hit 129 miles per hour today. It took a straight shot at our house. The insurance guy and the arborist says what's really interesting is that from where the tree snapped off to the base of it here, that's over 30 feet that this tree flew before it hit our house. He said normally when they snap off like that, they just came down. But the high winds probably blew it through the air like a sail. Things are like a good 15 to 20 feet off the ground still. I can't even get it close to touch or measure it. It's massive. And then to top it all off, when I came back in, our old and blind dog here decided to pee on the floor right in front of me. Now, in all fairness to her, she doesn't know where you're at or who's in front of her, but it was just the proverbial icing on the cake. Wasn't it, huh? Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I just spent the past few hours and most of yesterday also calling insurance companies, fence people, arborists, having the insurance guy come out. He just got off our roof and left now, getting bids on fixing our house. The fence guy itself said he's not gonna be able to do anything until probably middle of March because he's received a god awful number of phone calls since yesterday about fences being blown down in the area here. This means that the video I had planned on the Lord's Supper is gonna to have to wait until next week because I've got no work done on that for the past two days. Hopefully in that video, I can also include an update about what's going on with the back of our house, that tree out there and the fences and stuff like that. 
Yup, you wake up that day and you think, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But you never know what a day is going to hold in store for you. We make our plans as best as we can, but then we need to entrust them to God. Until next week, when hopefully I've got some good news on updates and repairs for you, I shall leave you with the word peace. Thank you.